In this video, I want to show you the performance analyzer in Power BI. The performance analyzer is very handy. It gives you some insights in the performance of your report and you can always use it. So most people figure out what it is and where to find it because their reports get slow, the visuals take forever to load and stuff is just not working anymore in Power BI. And then they try to find out what's happening, why is it happening? And then the performance analyzer is perfect to well, analyze that performance and get some insights. But you can also use this while you're building your report. You can always use it. And it's just built in Power BI. So you don't need any external tool, it's just there. And I want to show you where to find it and how to use it and what the information that it shows you actually means. So let's go into Power BI. Here I'm in Power BI, there's one of my reports. And now if you wonder where can I actually find that performance analyzer, it is either here on the right side, the little visual with the clock on it, or if you go to the pane at the top, optimize and then select performance analyzer, it will automatically open that pane on the right side. And when we look at that pane, it says performance analyzer. We don't have a lot of options, like we have start recording and there's also refresh visuals and stop, but these are grayed out. And then it actually also says start monitoring your report to see details about the time taken by each visual to query for this data and render the results. And there's actually also a link to the Microsoft documentation there. I will also put that in the description if you want to read more about it. So to get started with the performance analyzer, well, we can just press start recording. So we are on this page. I click start recording. It says recording started and then it says interact with your report to see how well it performs. Now what we can do, we can do different stuff. We can either say refresh visuals. It will refresh all the visuals that I have here. So the slicer, but also for example, this header. Let's do that. And you see everything is refreshed. It gives us the date, the time when it was refreshed and all our visuals. If I click on them, the corresponding visual will be selected in my report. And you see they all have these little plus signs. If I now click on, for example, this plus sign, it's from that KPI here. It shows me different things like DAX query, visual display, order. I can copy the query, I can run it in DAX query view. So these are my options here. And now I could say clear and do this again, but you don't need to clear it. You can also rerun this another time and another time. And I said before you have different options, so you can refresh all the visuals, but you can also just, once you started it, click around and interact with it. So I click on August, which will filter everything else in the report. So you see stuff happens and you see what the impact is here. What you also can do is you can can click on this little button. Once you activated and started the performance analyzer, you can just click on this analyze this visual and it will specifically analyze that visual. So not all the others around. If you wonder, what am I even looking at? What does 238 mean? So 238 is the duration in milliseconds. So what do we actually see here? We see the DAX query and that's just the time it takes Power BI to run. Well, the DAX query. So it's the time between sending the query and receiving the results from the data model. So if this would take a long time, it could be that you have a really inefficient DAX or that the relationships in your model aren't good and therefore the DAX is really complex, these kind of things. Then we have visual display and that is the time it actually takes the visual to appear on the page. So that's like the rendering, loading of the image, like everything related to that visual that we're seeing. And then we have other and that's like all the other time not included in any other options that could be like time spent to prepare the query, waiting for other visuals to finish background processes, like everything that's not captured in the DAX query and the visual display. So you see three options here. There's actually a fourth option at this moment. It's in preview and that's actually the parameters. So if you're using field parameters, I don't use field parameters in this demo report. It actually shows how long it takes to evaluate these so if you use field parameters, you would also see that in the performance analyzer. So now you get these results and you can do several things with them. You can export them in a JSON file. So if you click export, it will just save it as a JSON file. And here you see we also have two options and that's copy query and 
run in DAX query view. If we click copy query, it will copy the query that is used to generate what we're looking at. And you can paste it somewhere, but what I would advise you is to say run in DAX query view. If you click there, it will also automatically copy the query there of the performance analyzer. So that's exactly the same as what I get when I just click copy query. And there you see, you can run that. And this is actually the information that's beneath that visual that we analyzed. And here you see how that is processed by Power BI. In summary, the performance analyzer, if you've never used it, try it. It's free. It's in Power BI. You don't need to do anything extra. It will not hurt performance. It Maybe it makes it better if you see you are using some dark stats, not efficient or some visuals that take very, very long to uh, get displayed. So have a look at it uh, and let me know how you like working with the performance analyzer and what you struggle with. I know a lot of people don't know that the option of the performance analyzer exists. And I also know a lot of people struggle with performance of their Power BI report. So I thought I will create this video to get some awareness for the performance analyzer. I hope this helps.